what is the difference between single phase power supply and three phase power supply let's understand first about the single phase power supply it consists of two wires one is phase and another is neutral this phase only carries the power to the load and this neutral wire is just for the circuit completion as you can see here this phase makes the wave form similar to sinusoidal wave and its voltage fluctuates a lot while on the positive side its value peaks out at 90 degree and on negative side its value peaks out at 270 degree here 1 and minus 1 it just gave for the reference the actual voltage value at positive side is 230 volt and negative side minus 230 volt and commonly this single phase AC supply has 50 to 60 hertz of frequency means its time period is 1 by 50 second or 20 millisecond and since this voltage fluctuates a lot it cannot deliver constant power to the load and this is the reason the single phase power supply doesn't provide the sufficient torque to the single phase motor and for this reason a starter is used in the middle so that it can provide initial torque to the motor and since its efficiency is less it is used for the smaller applications in homes or small shops to drive the air conditioner coolers fans or lights etc now let's understand about three phase power supply three phase power supply commonly has three phases and each phase is separated by 120 degree to each other if you notice here at any point of time this voltage never becomes zero so in case of three phase power supply power never drops to zero and it provides very high efficiency this is the reason it is used for the industrial applications where very high power efficiency is required mainly three phase power supply has two configuration the first one is called a start connection as you can see in this diagram here it has three phases r phase y phase and b phase and one common line neutral the phase to phase voltage which is called line voltage is approx 415 volt and the phase voltage with respect to the neutral is approx 230 volt in this configuration it uses four wires three phases and one neutral and the another configuration is delta connection so in this connection it is connected like a delta it uses only for three phases and doesn't use neutral wire now let's see the differences between both the very first difference and the main difference is single phase power supply doesn't provide constant power to the load by a three phase power supply can provide constant power the second difference single phase power supply is less efficient compared to the three phase power supply the third difference as the single phase power supply doesn't provide the constant power to the load it is commonly used for the domestic applications or home while the three phase power supply can provide constant power and has very high efficiency it is used for industrial applications or heavy equipments the next difference single phase power supply has 230 volt and three phase power supply uses a prox 415 volt next single phase power supply uses just two wires phase and neutral while the three phase power supply uses three wires in case of delta configuration and uses one more extra wire neutral in case of star configuration as the single phase power supply uses just two wire its connection is very simple while three phase power supply uses delta and star configuration its connection is more complex so this was the brief about single phase power supply and three phase power supply if you still have some query or doubts regarding these 
please let me know in the comment box or any other difference you know that I have missed here that also put in the comment. Thank you.